gum people! Man, I would like to be this. Four guys with guns and one shop owner. This kind of went downhill fast. Somebody sent me this. They shared me with uh, that ass video. And look, for people that have been watching me for a while, that guy is the most incompetent, no experience, just watching videos, giving advice, bad advice, trying to sell shit. He's got four million subs. I get it. He's very popular, but his channel ought to be called Dumber Every Day. Uh, because every time I try and watch one of his videos, I just get dumber when I leave. But regardless, don't, don't send me his video. Send me the video. So I had to search this and find a video without having to listen to him. Uh, so I don't even know what the hell he said. Don't really care. Here we go. Uh, so this is in Compton and Compton, for those that don't know it in California, bad, bad town. It's one mile square city. Uh, the population is, um, I don't know if I can, can we even give demographics anymore without being racist? Anyway, uh, it's a high crime city. One mile square is the city, and they have their own helicopter and a police department. So um, doing business there is dangerous. For all the people that want to run around and say, uh, you know, race this, race that, go go, go in Compton and walk around. And if, and if you're not a victim of a crime walking around that city just one hour, I'd be shocked. So... This guy looks like he's wearing a bulletproof vest working in a little pot shop here. I think it's a marijuana shop or smoke shop, they call it. I don't know if he smells marijuana. Maybe it's just smoke. Whatever. Anytime you have four guys walk in wearing a mask, first of all, they all look non-assuming and they're scouring across the place like a swarm. They're not together. Most people walk in and they're together. These guys are almost working in unison. So, uh, let me go ahead and play what happened here because people will be like crying. Well, we wanted to see and not hear you talking. And I want to see. All right, here. Watch it. Watch it and shut up and quit crying in the comments. All right. So, you saw it? Scramble. Scramble, scramble. Cockroaches when the light comes on. <laughs> Unfortunately, these guys probably have more tactics than most cops out there. All right, so let's get back to observing why this happened, how this happened. See this guy back here? One, two, three, four. Spreading out, taking over the whole place, getting the advantage, having multiple angles on you. One guy against four. Odds are slim to none that you're going to win this fight. Unless... You're kind of tactically ready. You have a, va a vest, and the four idiots you're fighting are just hood rats that freaking just have guns and uh, don't train and don't know shit, and all they do is threaten and bully people without guns. Okay, now remember, Compton's in California. Great gun control. Nobody can have a gun. Good citizens can't carry a gun, but, uh, you know, criminals seem to have no problem getting them. But we need more laws. That'll fix it, yeah. And this isn't a uh, black crime out here, this is this is gun violence. The guns caused this incident. So let's just clear that up. All right, here we go. Set it up. They're talking. They're communicating. They're not looking at the store. They are looking at him. I mean, if you ever felt like a freaking zebra in the middle of four lines, this is it. So this guy does a good cover by standing here and blocking this guy's draw. He comes in, he's drawing his gun, and he gets a surprise. Boom. Notice his reaction immediately is to go. Tactical-wise, what he probably should have done is maybe put this hand up. He'd rather take a, 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 a round to the hand than in the face. He went to his gun really quick. Uh, I mean, as soon as he sees the threat, he's like, I got to defend myself. Sees the gun, goes for his gun. Now, this could have got him shot. I guarantee you, if these guys were cops, he'd be dead. But this guy doesn't shoot for some reason. And this guy doesn't draw immediately. He pauses. And then he goes. But he ducks. He squats. He gets below. This guy's squatting and ducking. Okay, remember, if you're throwing lead at a guy, it's hard for him to aim and get hits. 
So if they're throwing lead, it's hard for him to aim and gets hit, etc. Uh, I didn't read if they even said what uh, happened here. Uh, robbery left one person dead. Oh, good. Not that I would encourage violence. So as this guy draws, none of these guys have guns. But as soon as he draws and fires, they duck. They're scrambling. This guy gets his gun out. I don't know if it jams. This guy gets serious. Uh, right here. This guy coming right here. He does some serious uh, shooting on a run. But, unfortunately, I don't think his, his round hits. So the guy begins to... You notice the, the, the store owner is rolling and dodging because he's taking rounds. So he's continuously moving. Good for him. I don't know if that's instinctual or you're getting hit by fragments. But this guy right here comes straight across and has a great jump on him because they separated and they have multiple. He's basically in a fatal funnel that they created. They spread out and surrounded him, creating this funnel to where he has to shoot at multiple targets in different locations, and they all get to aim on one guy, him. So here's where he runs up and he starts to draw. One, two, three, four. So they enclosed on him. This guy immediately falls and knocks this guy down. Didn't see that on the other one, so that, that really helped him. They couldn't continue to shoot. This guy draws. I don't think this guy has a gun, maybe. So far, only this guy and this guy I see have a gun. Uh, but back here, they all have guns, it seems like. This guy almost shot his partner right here. Look at, look at this shot. Boom. This guy almost shot him in the head. <laughs> Wouldn't that be sweet justice? So they're trying to get out. I don't think the door is locked. Shooting with your head down and just holding up. Criminals get to do that. Hell, even cops get to do that. But as a citizen, you can't do that. As a law-abiding citizen, you'd be deemed dangerous and need more training and shouldn't own a gun and you were reckless and you endangered other people. But criminals and cops, this is okay approved shooting. So one, two. I thought I saw three or four guns. Maybe I only saw two. Look at look how quick this thing gets filled with smoke from all these rounds. But Rick, I thought bullets use smokeless powder. Well smokeless powder still creates some smoke. It's just not as much smoke as the old black powder. So I want to go with this guy's stance right here. He really kind of hesitates before he draws. But when he draws, so what he's doing here is what I always tell cops. Get your damn hand on your gun. Anytime you're dealing with somebody, your hand should be on your gun. You don't, watch this guy's right here. Watch the steps that he has to go through before he sees the gun. So he's relaxed. But he's got his hand close to his gun. He knows where his gun's out because he knows something's going down. So he's kind of antsy, moving around, keeping his feet moving. Soon as he sees the gun, this step right here, had his hand been on his gun, he wouldn't have needed to do this. So this is, creates time and lag time. And that's why I always tell, keep your damn hand on your gun. I mean, th this lag time here, from here, back, forward, okay. So this lag time right here, if your hand's on your gun, you lose that. And that's what you want to lose. Then he pauses, but he gets a good grip. He's ready to draw, and he's processing. Do I want to draw? Do I want to take the chances? Maybe, if he's really tactically sound, Anytime I saw a gun, I always looked if the safety was on. Anytime I had somebody with a gun pointed, I always checked, is the safety on? Because I know guns, and I can pretty much tell where the safety is, and if it has a safety, and is it on? Now, with Glocks, there's no safety. Revolvers, there's no safeties. But if it's a, if it's a gun with a safety, I'm going to notice whether the safety's on or off. 
So that could be part of the evaluation process on whether or not I want to draw. And for some reason, he decides to draw. And when he decides, he pauses and then drops as he draws. So he doesn't drop before he draw, which he probably should have. So his gun comes out pretty quick. From hand on the gun, two frames, his gun's out. I don't know if he gets off around. Bad guy gets off around. Does he get around off? So again, if he's thinking smart, right now he is shooting through this glass. This the, don't don't get confused with cover and concealment. Shoot through concealment. If it's real cover, you can't shoot through it. Cover gives you bullet protection. Concealment just hides you. He's just hidden right now. He could be peppering this whole front counter here and getting hits on both these guys. And maybe he does. I don't know. I see things flying this way. So they are shooting through this. Is he shooting? I don't know how many rounds he fired. Let me see if I can see some rounds coming this way. Yeah, see, I'm not sure he's getting hits on here. See, had he been shooting through this, he would have been getting hits on all these guys. Um, when I was training cops, it, it was big to shoot through sheetrock, uh, through stairwells, through a room. Don't get caught up on the door. If a guy slams the door, he's probably standing next to the door or through the door. Shoot through the door or through the uh, sheetrock. You may hit the 2x4. You may hit framing, but you may not. You're still throwing shrapnel or something on the other side. But, Rick, you don't know what's on the other side. Well, again, if if you're in a house, you got a guy, he's in the house alone. He told you he's alone. You chase him upstairs. He slams the door on you, and he shot at you before he slams the door. Then shoot through the door. Okay? Uh, here we go. Man, this shot right here just really amazes me. That this dude didn't take a round. Wow. Lucky. <laughs> Rick, why are you laughing? Well, it's funny just to watch... Even these guys who have no training in tactics, they, they'll they hide behind a freaking blade of grass if that's all you got and return fire. I mean, survival is survival. These guys, Remember, all these guys now have experience. They've been in a shootout. They're going to be better next time. This guy's going to be better next time. Okay? Experience is the best teacher. All right. Well, in that there, I know I went long, but... Uh, there was a lot going on in this video. He should have he should have dropped before he drew. And he should have shot through here. It would probably be my two biggest tips. Something else he could have done is as soon as they walked in, just drew his damn gun. If he would have pulled his gun out when they're walking in here, he would have been called a racist. It wasn't fair, etc. But these guys may have not pulled a gun. Just think right now, if he pulls his gun, he's holding his gun right now and saying, hey, I don't know what's going on. I don't feel comfortable. You guys need to leave right now. You're trespassing. If any of you reach for anything, I'm going to put a bullet in your ass. He would have got a complaint, but it wouldn't have resulted in a shooting. See, that's the problem when government makes good citizens so scared to act. There's not good Samaritan laws. There's not private property rights to where you can control thugs until after they pull a gun and shoot at you. Then maybe... You can shoot back and draw a gun, but they'll probably still attack this guy. And said, had he just complied and gave him everything, there would have been no shooting. So it's his fault for opening a business and running a business and being armed and trying to make a living. It's his fault. That's the problem with our government, and that's why I don't think R2 is too far off. Well, in that there, y'all have a good one.